What's going on everyone? Today we'll be going through the n perms. So the n perms are quite well known because of how long the algorithms are. n perms are actually quite rare as well, so you won't really see these too often in your 3x3 solves, but they still are important and it is a good idea not to neglect your n perms. So there are two different types of n perms. The one that I have here is called the na perm. Here's the algorithm for it, and it is definitely one of the longer algorithms out of all the PLOs, and it is shown as follows. The other n-perm algorithm is known as the nb-perm, and here's the algorithm for that. So although these algorithms are quite long, there's actually a lot of nice ways to remember these algorithms. So if you're interested in that, I'll put the timestamp to the memorization part in the video right here. I'll also include a lot more timestamps in the video description. So feel free to check those out if you're after anything specific. So n perms are usually quite easy to recognize and that's because they have this two by one bar on every single side. So you'll notice that on every side, there's always gonna be a two by one bar. So the benefit of that is that it doesn't actually matter which side you face when you start the algorithm because every single side looks the same. Also, it is important to know that n perms will only have opposite colors on any given side. So as you can see, no matter which side I'm facing, there will only ever be two opposite colors on that side. So this, the one I'm holding here, is the NA perm because the 2x1 bar is on the right side of the cube. Whereas this, where we have the 2x1 bar on the left side of the cube, would actually be the NB perm. So from certain angles, N perms might actually look quite similar to J perms. So I have here an N perm and I have here a J perm. So they do look very similar. Once again, the thing that separates the N perm out is that it only has opposite colors on any given side. Whereas if we grab the J perm over here, we notice that although we do have opposite colors on this side, you'll notice that on this side and this side, we have adjacent colors. So this will definitely be a J perm. Whereas going back to the M perm, you'll notice that no matter what side we're looking at, there will always be opposite colors on these sides. So that's how we know that this is an N perm and not a J perm. Starting with the NA perm, this algorithm will be a lot easier for you to remember if you already know how to do the J perm. So if you don't know how to do a J perm yet, I definitely recommend checking out my video on J perms. But if you do already know how to do a J perm, you'll notice that the entire middle section of the n perm is actually the j perm algorithm. So the n perm algorithm starts off with these setup moves to set the n perm into a j perm. So it starts off with an r u r prime u. And now from this point onwards, it's actually the j perm. So as we all know, the j perm starts off with the r u r prime f prime, and then followed up the next four moves, which is the sexy move, R, U, R prime, U prime. Now the next part, as I mentioned in my J perm tutorial, I like to remember how my hands move. So R prime, F, R2. These moves are quite easily remembered if you keep track of how your fingers and hands move. That's followed up by a U prime, followed by an R prime. And now at this stage, instead of remembering the rest of the J perm, I like to think of inserting this F12 pair into this slot here, just the regular way. In a regular F12, you would move it to the front and just insert normally. So if you do that, 
then that actually solves the rest of the algorithm. So you don't need to remember the last few moves, just need to track where the F12 pair is and you can do that pretty intuitively. So going over that again quickly, just to make sure you've gotten everything. So once again, it starts off with the four setup moves, R, U, R prime, U, going into a J perm, which should be quite familiar at this stage. Now here, remember how my hands move. And then when we get to the last few moves, focus on inserting this F12 pair into the front slot by bringing it to the front and inserting the regular way. Moving on to the NB perm, although this algorithm is a lot shorter than the NA perm, it's actually quite difficult in terms of the finger tricks that we need to do, but I will break it down for you guys because there are quite a few common triggers that will make this algorithm quite easy to remember. I like to single out the first move and just remember that it starts with an R prime. It sort of doesn't feel like it belongs there, but it's it's just there by itself. So I always remember that I start off with the R prime. And now the next four moves, I kind of think of it as an inverse sexy move. So U, R, U prime, R prime. And now at this stage, instead of remembering the moves, I like to remember inserting pieces into certain places. So for the next three moves, I like to think about inserting this edge into this position using F moves. So like this, you notice that I bring this edge over and insert it into here. And then similar for the next three moves, I like to think of inserting the back edge into this position as well. So you'll notice that that's what the next three moves does. It just inserts that edge into the front here, followed that by an inverse sledge. So I like to start off the inverse sledge with an F move like this because my hands will already be set up to that. Finish off the inverse sledge. And at this stage, you can remember the last two moves being U prime R, or otherwise you can just match up the colors. It's only two moves. It'll be pretty easy to match up the colors and solve in that way. So once again, going over that quickly, just to make sure you've gotten everything. As always, the NB algorithm starts with just a single R prime, followed by an inverse sexy, Next up, insert this edge into the front here using F moves like this, followed by inserting this edge into the front here with R moves like this. Continue on with your index finger with the inverse sledge. And then finally, you can remember the last two moves or otherwise I like to just match up the colors since it's much more intuitive that way. And in that case, that solves the NB perm. Some important finger tricks that you should know when you're learning the end perm is first of all the U pinch move. So I've covered this in a lot of my PLL videos. It'll be a very important finger trick for this algorithm. You also might need to use this U push with your index finger here. Or if you're not familiar with this move, you can use this kind of move as well with your index finger as well. And then finally, you need to know how to do the F prime push as well. This will be quite important for the NA perm. So you'll notice if you incorporate those three finger tricks in your NA perm, you can actually make the PLL regripless. So starting with the home grip, the first four moves can be done with the pinch move like this, followed by a U push, or you could do it with your index finger dragging it over like this. And then as we all know, the JB perm can be done regripless. So that's what the next part is. And then at the end, we can insert this F12 pair into the front. And that also is regripless. So even though it's a long algorithm, it's actually regripless. So the TPS on an NA perm can be quite quick and you could do it quite quickly. So even though the NB perm is shorter, the finger tricks are actually not as good as those on the NA perm. So it actually takes about the same amount of time for me to do both algorithms, just because there is with this massive regrip in the middle of the NB perm. So with this algorithm, I like to always start with a regrip anyway, because it makes the next few moves flow a lot nicer. So starting the algorithm off with a regrip like this means that the next four moves, which is the inverse sexy, can be done quite smoothly. You notice how my thumb is set up to do this F prime. So that's exactly what I'll do to insert this edge into here. And then next up, inserting this back edge into the front here, I can do it the regular way. 
and that's where we follow up with the inverse sledge. So because my index finger is already set up here, I'll start the inverse sledge with the F move, and then I'll regrip to do the rest of the inverse sledge like this. And that way I can finish off with the last two moves like that as well. So you notice how there is this one regrip during the inverse sledge that will take some time for you to do during the algorithm, but the rest of the algorithm should flow pretty well. So AUF for end perms are actually quite easy to recognize. They are pretty much recognized by the front two by one bar here. So if this is matching the rest of the side, then you won't need to do an AUF after the algorithm. So the same technique can be applied to both end perms. So here we have the NB perm and you'll notice that the orange color 2x1 bar here is actually not matching the rest of the side. In fact, orange belongs on the other side. So in this case, I can recognize that after I do the NB algorithm, I need to do a U2 at the end to solve the cube. So it's a good thing to recognize that before PLO, so you don't have to pause to recognize AUF again after you do the algorithm. So that's it for the NPERM tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments section below and I'll try my best to answer all of them. Like the video if you learned something new. Please subscribe if you want to see more similar videos and share these videos with people you may know who are currently learning PLO or who want to learn for PLO. Uh, it definitely helps grow the channel. I appreciate everyone's support. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon.